Hi, I'm Denise Nagy, and I've been a patient of Arizona Hearing Specialist since 1999. And um, I have two grown daughters, and a husband, and a beagle. Um, and um, I have a background in speech and, and hearing. Um, I was a speech pathologist in schools. Um, I, got my, I got my first pair of hearing aids in 1999, and um, I knew that I had a hearing loss prior to that, but <clears throat> had dealt with that pretty well up until that time, and then um, it began to be apparent to me that I really was struggling and I needed um, to, to do something about my hearing loss, and so um, that led me to getting the hearing aids at that time. Prior to getting this pair of hearing aids, I was referred to Arizona Hearing Specialist through um, the ENT that I had seen um, who had done some testing and, and diagnosed my hearing loss and um, I just was very very pleased right from the very beginning. Um, Dr. Gash has a really um, warm um, personal way of treating you and speaking with you and she really took her time um, I had several concerns about my hearing, being able to hear my children in the house, being feeling safe in, uh, when I was alone, um, concerns about driving and being able to hear, and she really listened to the kinds of concerns that I had, and even after I got the hearing aids, um, we had, at that time, we had two dogs, and um, one of the dogs, once I got the hearing aids and went home with the hearing aids, everything was great until the dog barked the first time and then I thought I was going to come out of my chair. And so came back and she was just really good at being able to understand those kinds of little day-to-day -day issues and troubleshoot with me and make the adjustments that I needed to make it comfortable for me. So that was really probably one of the most significant um, pluses for me was just the real attention, you know, to helping me be comfortable day to day. My name is Maria de Lourdes Cruz and I've been a bilingual teacher for 30 years. I just retired two years ago enjoying my retirement with my grandchildren and my family. I've had my hearing aids for a long time and I changed every two years to three years because my uh, hearing is very severe. And I really enjoy being here at the Arizona Hearing Specialists because they're very, very professional and they know what they're doing. They help me with my needs as far as the hearing aids and they're specialists and they're very professional about it. If I have any questions, if I need anything, they'll write there for me, always. Uh, my name is Jose L. Cruz Jr. My uh, lovely wife of 42 years uh, has a really profound hearing loss. She would say what? like four or five times and I said, didn't you hear me? <laughs> and I, and naturally that was one of the things that uh, really got us thinking that her hearing was uh, really being impaired. We decided to go and look for uh, hearing specialists. Well, we were, looked around quite a bit until we found Arizona hearing specialist, which really, really helped us so much uh, in her hearing. Um, there were times where uh, my wife and I would uh, get into a few arguments because she couldn't hear. And with the hearing aids that she has now, it was one of those things that is just from a different world, just from day, from night to day. So we're really, really thankful that uh, we were able to find a person and professional people that uh, really helped uh, my wife on her hearing and in our life, our you know married life.
my life has changed for the better since I've gotten these hearing aids because I can understand much better what is being said, not just in regular conversation, but watching television and watching movies. I still use subtitles, but I can understand better. I would encourage family members, especially spouses, to come in with the person that gets the hearing aids and meet with the audiologist and learn as much as they can about what the problem is and how they can help the person with the hearing aids. And in helping Pete, I'm helping myself. The hearing aids help me hear those, the frequency, the high pitch, which gives me the most trouble. And the way these sophisticated hearing aids work, they amplify the range that you have difficulty hearing while not amplifying the others. Therefore, you can hear very well in a crowd of people. You don't have this overpowering sound, you know, just the part that you need to hear, that's the part that is amplified. Dr. Hesse is terrific in giving us clues on how to proceed when one does not understand what is being said. She made me realize that when people speak to me and I don't understand, I don't tell them to say it louder, but to say it slower. Because she explained to me that the mental process of picking up the, the sound of vowels, for example, the, the brain is trying to decipher what is being said. So if they speak slower, it helps me tremendously as opposed to shouting. And I'm so glad that she encouraged you to have me come in with you because that has helped me to understand what I can do by slowing down my speech, by making sure when I'm speaking to you that I'm facing you, mm -hmm. that I don't have my back to you, oh, yes, right. by not talking to you from another room in the house, because yeah, that, that doesn't, doesn't work, work at all. Right. So she's really helped me to work with Pete, and I can help him to hear me better, and then we bo both don't get so frustrated. We feel at Arizona Hearing Specialists that it's extremely important that the companion be involved right from the beginning. And a lot of times when they're talking to our staff on the telephone, the staff will ask them to bring a companion. Why, sh why should I have my spouse come? What, you know, what's my hearing loss got to do with my spouse? And I, uh, we all feel very, very strongly that communication is a two-way process. And if there's a hearing loss in the family, it's going to affect the spouse also. And it's important for a spouse or adult child to realize that hearing aids are not the be-all and end-all. Hearing aids are not bionic ears, and that it's important for them to learn how to talk to the patient. And so I love having the, the frequent communication partners come in with our patients for their first or second follow-up after they've been fit. And oftentimes, I will ask that person first, so what have you noticed? You know, and they'll say, wow, the TV's at a normal listening level. Wow, I can, I can talk in a normal tone of voice and they can hear me. Now, I encourage them, and we all encourage them, not to talk from another room and to be aware of where they sit in a restaurant. But just knowing that that ability to communication has become more normal and more natural is really, I think, the greatest gift that we can, we can help our patients with.